wanted to say hello from Singapore and just share with you my adventures over the last four days. Uh, you know, from the time I landed on Friday, I was so out of my depth. You know, this was the first country by myself overseas and I was just trying to find my way around the place, trying to catch the trains, the right bus, the right location. But the best part about it was that everyone is so helpful, everyone is so willing to help, so friendly. And, and you are actually really safe in Singapore. You know, there is nothing that is going to happen to you uh, in Singapore. No one is even looking at you the wrong way. So it's actually really nice to be in a friendly country where there's barely any crime at all. And uh, so I was a bit flustered trying to find my place uh, around this uh, area in Singapore. And I was just fortunate enough to be able to find it thanks to a lot of help from the actual locals. Um, so I was a bit, you know, out of my depth, out of my comfort zone, and I was just, just wanted to, to, to settle down, find my groove. And the next day was an awesome time on Saturday because I was able to watch the grand final in an Australian bar in Singapore. And it was actually really cool because so many Australians gathered. I was, there was probably about 200 there eating in this one restaurant, cheering for the amazing doggies who were able to take the premiership. And it was actually really cool to soak up an atmosphere in a nice restaurant where everyone is just engaged in the game of football and uh, that was quite fun and he also helped me settle down a bit more and I was able to meet some Australians in Singapore and um, that night I just had to relax I was still by myself uh, so I just had to relax still get used to the weather get used to this time zone get used to the food and the drinks and uh, Sunday was a very big day as I was able to visit Bethany Church um, and I was able to, to speak to one of the leaders and to really get an idea of what they're doing in Singapore, how they go about uh, reaching out to people in their culture, in their, in their environment. And uh, they're doing great things in here. And I was able to, to meet with Pastor Haran, who was able to speak some, some words of wisdom into my life and, and to, to helping me understand what it means leading ministry and what it means to be a Christian. And then I was able to visit Little India, which was a nice place to actually see a bit of history about the Indians um, going to Singapore as refugees and creating their own place here. And it was nice to see a bit of history and also a bit of culture and vibrancy. And it reminded me of the time when I went to India. So there was a lot of, you know, snow, spices, uh, uh, colourful clothes and, and traffic. And um, it was an amazing place to be. And straight after, I went to Fort Canning Park, which is a beautiful naturistic park with gardens, steps, walks and trails, the spice gardens. And uh, it's an incredible place to visit if you love nature. But I was, I was getting sweaty with the hot weather, still getting used to it. But Fort Canning Park was an incredible place. And then that night, I was able to finally meet my host, whose house I'm staying at. Um, and it's a beautiful house, uh, very worth the price, and the host is very, very friendly. And uh, she invited me to a run around the city in a four kilometer run, and there are some amazing sights at night time in Singapore. It truly is a beautiful city. It, I felt like I was back in Melbourne, uh, you know, sky high buildings, beautiful, luxurious buildings, attractive buildings. They looked amazing, it was very well organized with the uh, marina right in the middle. It was an incredible place to be. Um, so it was just, there was a big pool of luxury. You know, you want to you be part of it. And uh, it was a great site to be. And to go for a run there was really, really cool. I absolutely love the city of Singapore at night time. There's just so much life and so much action happening. I think it's because of the hot weather during the day and it just gets to a really nice, cool temperature. It's like a summer night in Melbourne. And you know, there are people running, there are people riding bikes, there's so many people just relaxing, watching the, the river and the sea. And then, you know, they're taking photos of the beautiful city. I can see that they're so proud of it. So many people dining, eating desserts, walking together. I feel like there's just a sense of romance about it too. And you know, I just love exploring the city of Singapore at nighttime. There's so much life, there's so much hustle and bustle. And I just feel that it is a beautiful place to be and I'm definitely going to miss the city of Singapore at night time. But you know, it's been a great ride, it's so beautiful and there's so much serenity and peace that you feel with, with the design and the architecture and the beauty of this city and it's been great. Give it a chance, check it out, it is amazing. 
and then on Monday I went to Universal Studios which was epic. It was nice to actually take a break from being part of the locals and do something really touristy. And uh, there are so many different worlds to explore in uh, Universal Studios, you know, from the DreamWorks, uh, Madagascar, Shrek, Far Far Away Land, to um, Jurassic World, and then you're going down to sci-fi area, going down to the uh, Egyptians area, and then you've got the Hollywood in New York, where we had massive pizzas, it was massive pizzas. And uh, there was some great rides there. It's good to get a bit of a break from, you know, from doing uh, local stuff, either the local eaters, just doing something really, really fun. And um, I also got the chance to meet some Korean deaf students that were there on a camp, you know, started talking to them, communicating with them, and I was able to spend a good two hours with them over some food. And it was really nice to meet some, some people who offer the same uh, background and um, same limitation in regards to hearing but it's really good to have that similarity and have two different cultures come together and they're great people to engage with and um, here I am nearing the end of my time in Singapore it really is an incredible city after a rough few days of being lonely I've really been able to open up myself and communicate with people communicate with the locals and I'm really enjoying it now especially the sights that I'm seeing the people that I'm meeting and the community that I'm uh, that I'm uh, indulging, seeing with my own eyes. And you know, it really is a beautiful city. Um, I can see why there's so much businesses um, and people coming in to do business here. It's such a beautiful city. And, and there's great people, friendly people. You know, you, you don't feel unsafe. You feel very uh, secure. You, you feel at home in some places. And there are some great food eateries around the corner, just local shops. And, you know, they're great at cooking. Their food is so delicious. I've had, you know, some pork spices, sesame oil, chicken. Um, I've had so many great meals and they're a great value as well. So I encourage you, you know, hit up Singapore when you get the chance and enjoy what's happening.